Rap the Mighty Eagles of NCCU, this is the Juice, the hottest HBCU radio station in the nation, yeah. and we back. Uh, we got another one, Tony. Another, we got another one. one. Yes, and it don't stop, and it don't stop. Yes, we sir. have a... Have, we have a special guest and I um I'm so excited. You said tonight. That's so, I'm just so excited. I have we have a very special guest. Uh, we have we have a friend to the room, a family to the a family member of the juice, and a special young lady in my heart. We have yes we do. We have Miss Okay, I see the way trying to speak game. It's fine. We have Miss Alexis Face in here. Miss, yes, we have Miss Alexis Face and Sharp here. Yes, how are you doing, sweetheart? I'm good. How are y'all? Uh, we are good. We are good. I'm so, Holly Favor. Favor. Okay, yes, yes. So, okay. Alexis, you, my darling, you are running for Mrs. Sophomore of NCCU. So, do you mind just talking about, you know, first of all, let the people know where you're from. You know, uh, what's introduce your, yourself. Introduce general. yourself. What's your major classification? You know, just give us a little rundown of who Alexis Faison is. Um, my name is Alexis Faison. I'm from Clinton, North Carolina. C town. Yes. I am a freshman running for me sophomore. Um, my major is education with the concentration in literacy and mathematics, and my minor is business. Okay. Okay. So, your um slogan is class. Yes. Community leaders are superior students. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about your slogan. Um, community leaders are superior students. So, as a kid growing up, they always say the future's in the palm of this generation's hands. Yes. I get my own approved where I'm trying to do a food drive for the local elementary schools uh, because there's homeless kids they don't get to eat. Right. And the biggest thing is trying to make sure they get enough food because you don't know when their next month is going to be. Right. Okay. So, so okay. okay, so with that, so what gave you the drive to run for Miss Sophomore because you know a lot of people say you know oh I run because I had nothing better to do you know a lot of people say oh I'm running because you know I did it before so I want to do it again but what made Alexis run for Miss Sophomore? Okay, so in high school coming up talking to my dad about a lot of stuff, my dad knows that this is really not my element. But ever since my freshman year in high school, my dad's been begging me, like, Alexis, I really want you to be the queen of something one day because I know you have the potential to do it. Yes. So I promised my You're dad my that I promised my dad that one day I said I'm going to run for something big and I'm going to make y'all proud. Mm. And this is, like, the next step because I didn't go for anything in high school because I stepped out of the way to let my friends do it. Mm. But now I have my campaign team with my friends who stepped out of the way to let me do it. And they're helping me accomplish this because they know how big it is to me as well as it is to my dad. Also, I feel as if I want to be the face and the voice behind change here on campus for class 2019. So, like, yesterday at 1040 break, I had a box. And the question for the box was, what do you want me to change here and improve here on campus when I become your Miss Sophomore? And I really got a lot of feedback, a lot of stuff. Like Jessica said before, it was really parking, calf stuff. They want to have more things on the weekend. Stuff that's going to get more students engaged because they feel as if that they don't really have nothing on campus that's in their element. So I really want to be the voice behind that and let them know that, boom, I don't even have a crown, but I'm already trying to help y'all get community service. I'm already working for y'all because I want to make sure that we all are prosperous and we're all successful in the long run. And I think that's the key, too, when it comes down to anything. You know, even though you, you really don't have a, a position right now, but you're still serving. That's right. And that's the big thing. That's like with me. A lot of people are like, why didn't you run for freshman class president last semester? So I'm like, I don't really have to have a position to work. And I've been working you know, right. all the time. So you really don't have to have that position. But see, with you, you want the position and that open up many more doors for right. you, you know, so that you'll be able to work and, you know, collaborate with people that you need to collaborate with. Right. So. Right. So, so, um, who, uh, uh, so during this whole campaign season, you know, who has been your biggest supporters? Like, who's been the main people that's been motivating you? You know, who's been the main people, like, when you felt like giving up, like, if you just did not feel like, Doing good, doing something today. They said, "Come on, you got to dip in there." Like, like, wh 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 what is your main motivation? Yes, that's something. Like, what is your main motivation come from? Um, first of all, my main motivation first comes from my mother because I started every morning before I do any the campaign. My mother, she gives me that morning devotion. She lets me know that God has a plan for me, and she told me yesterday. She said, "Even if you don't run this position." Don't let this discourage you because maybe this is not the route he wants you to go to get you where you need to be. Uh -huh. Second of all, I talk to God every morning. I have to have that morning prayer to let him know that thank you for keeping me in my right mind and thank you for leading me down the right path to have an impact on class of 2019. Second, well, third of all, my biggest support is Tariq, of course. 
because <laughs> even even when I don't want to do stuff, even when I don't even want to get out the bed, even when I feel like I don't even want to get pretty, even when I feel like I just want to give up because I feel like you know sometimes that the odds are against me. Mm -hmm. Tariq is my biggest motivation. He makes me get up every morning. He tells me, you know, get up and do what you need to do because you know this is if this is really what you want, this is where you want to be. That you have to get up and be like ready to fight for it. Right. So that's what I'm basically trying to do. I'm really fighting for what I really want because I feel as if that someone has to be the voice and it should be the correct voice the one that has power in their voice that knows the people knows that they want and who can change what it is right. mm -hmm. so yeah and um i i want to just piggyback off of that because you know uh and knowing alexis you know i have always told her that you know listen Stuff is going to get tough. Not it's gonna it's gonna get pretty. It, it's gonna get ugly before it gets pretty. Right. And you know, one thing I try to stress to her is like, if you ain't the voice, then who is? Right. If you're not gonna be the change, then who's gonna change stuff for us? It's kind of like with us. Like I remember, like you know, when we when all three of us came together and we said, you know, w like if we're not gonna stress the 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 importance of our majors, then who is? So I feel like what you're doing, I always try to encourage baby girl is like. Even when you don't, some, stuff is not about you. It's about other people. And I feel like, you know, with this whole, le your whole thing is built on leadership. And it's about developing, you know, your class in your school. So, you know, I really do encourage you, you know, and I want to thank you. We want to thank you for coming by here, you know, spending some knowledge to us. And we wish you the best of luck on your campaign. I have a question. Yes. What are you? I'm going to get the camera on me, you know. Okay. Popping that gum. Popping this gum like a cow. Yes. No, let me tell you something. Them lollipop gums, you know the ones that like turn into a lollipop? Yes, they be smacking hard. Like they're yes. mad and they're really they're hard. They're delicious right? until the flavor runs out. Right, the, the, the flavor ran out. Okay. Yes. Anyway, um, so what is your biggest fear in this? Or you know what? I'm going to stop saying fear. Okay. What do you think are your strengths and weaknesses right what now? What are your pros and cons? Uh, shut up. On your campaign. Okay, it was the same thing. Love you. Yeah, I know. Love you um... <laughs> Pros right now is me me speaking word of mouth to everyone because what I've noticed is a lot of people are trying to bribe and win votes. Like, I'm not going all out like everyone else. I'm trying to keep it real simple and get straight to the point. Right. So I feel as if being very word of mouth, talking to everyone, letting them know, hey, this is what I have going. This right. is what I'm trying to get done. Right. And people will remember what you say to them. Right. Because anybody can go to anybody and get candy and stuff, but it's what you're leaving with them when you walk away. Mm -hmm. so I'm Come on. Make sure Somebody that I leave a positive word with them so therefore right. they'll know who right. I am. Right. Cons really is really me getting around to everyone. There's really a big class of 2019. I'm trying to make sure I reach every diverse group here on campus. So I really think I'm, I need to really work on more of reaching out to people that who don't know me and know about me. Right. Because people say they know me, but I want to make sure they know what I'm standing on. Right. So I want to make sure I get around to the correct people. And I'm trying to make sure that everyone knows that just because I'm running for a crown does not necessarily mean I need the crown to do what I'm trying to do. Absolutely. So that's that's that. that's really what I'm really trying to do. Here Great, right. thank you. Uh, pass me a shot of the uh, yes of her flyer. Yes, this is beautiful. Yes, Ooh. yes, thank yes. You. yes. I'm dropping that. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. It's, it's too fly for me. But nonetheless, ah, yes, it is. But yes, but listen, Alexis, baby girl, thank you so much, thank you so much for coming for by. Time. You know what I'm saying? You. Continue the work that you're doing. And always know, Daddy loves you, okay? Oh, Lord, you this is the Juice, the hottest HBC right. radio station in the nation. Stay locked. I seen your girl post a BM, so I hit her in the DM.